All right, so in order to do your Automata um, laser cut, you're going to have to uh, change some things um, or add some things to your um, parts list. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new part studio. And we're gonna go ahead and rename that part studio laser cut. Once we have that part studio labeled, we're gonna do a new sketch. And that sketch is going to be a rectangle that's 12 by 24 inch or 24 by 12, 24 by 12. It's gonna represent the front face or the face of our board that we're gonna use as a reference. Once we have that done, we're gonna extrude that to an eighth of an inch. Doesn't really matter, um, but just to keep things consistent, we're gonna do an eighth of an inch. And so now we have that done. And so this represents our wood board that we're gonna laser cut. <clears throat> or laser cut. Once you have that done, you're gonna do a new drawing. So you're gonna to go to uh, create drawing page. Right now you're gonna name this drawing laser drawing or something similar to laser cut. And <clears throat> from here, you're going to go to custom template, ISO and A0. So that's gonna give us a really large sheet of paper with plenty of space to put things on. We do not want to include the border. We do not want to include the title block. And then we hit OK. So now we're creating our drawing page. Once we create our drawing page, we're going to insert. And what we're going to, ins what we're going to insert is this laser cut part. So we're going to insert this laser cut part. Let's make sure that it's one to one ratio. Anything smaller will make it super small, too small for us to laser cut anything larger and it won't necessarily fit on the page. Plus you'll be changing your laser cut, um, laser joints, uh, finger joint dimensions as well. So we're just gonna place this, doesn't matter where on the page, place that part. We're gonna escape from our placement tool. And so now we have our board and it looks small because we're zoomed out, but it's really a really large sheet. And next we're gonna insert our laser cut box that we've already done our auto auto layout on and before i get to that uh let me go back a second let's go ahead and look at our my, my laser cut box and what you'll notice if i go ahead and delete the auto layout feature that i have delete the auto layout feature that i have here if I delete this auto layout feature, you'll notice that I've hidden all of the parts that I did not need for my, um, to be laser cut. So I've hidden the axle that would normally be there. I've gone ahead and hidden that because those are circular pieces or, or dowels. We're not laser cutting those. I'm gonna hand you those. If you tell me the correct, the dimensions that you need, I'll cut those for you. So let's go ahead and hide part six again and do our auto layout. So here's our auto layout. And for our auto layout, our cut sheet, our cut sheet width is going to be um, 12, uh, 24, and our cut sheet height is going to be 12. Now, the spacing tells you the spaces in between each part. So right now it's at a tenth of an inch. I can make it even less than that. So let's go 0 0.075. That's gonna put my pieces really close together. So I'm, I'm optimizing my, my placement, my layout. I'm minimizing the empty space in between. I'm gonna go ahead and click the check mark, go ahead and look at that. And so now this should fit within a 12 by 24 inch sheet of wood. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place that into my drawing file. So I'll go back to our laser drawing. We're gonna place this into our drawing file, making sure that it's one-to-one -one again. So one-to-one, -one. you can type it with one of your drop downs. I'm going to click on insert and now I'm going to go to laser cut. Oh, that laser cut, laser cut box. And if I scroll down there, you'll notice you won't see the laser cut box. Well, that's because if you want to place individual parts, you'll go to this list and you'll place individual parts. But I actually want to go back to my part studios and then you'll notice that this is actually an option on the list. So I want to select laser cut box. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to place my laser cut box. Right now it's looking at, so I'm going to escape from that view. 
Right now it's looking at it from the, the top. I need to change view orientation. I need to look at it from the, uh, actually I'm looking at it from the right. So I need to change it to top and now it's top view. Now this will not fit into my page. So that means I had to go back and I need to look at my view properties and see what I've done wrong. So this is one to one, this is okay. So that means something's wrong with my wood board. So let's go look at my wood board. Let's go ahead and move this down. Look at my wood board, view properties. Ah, I have it as one to two, so I need to make sure that's one to one. Much better there. Okay, go ahead and turn this or move this over. And you'll notice also that it, it has the scale here. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can go through and delete each of your scales. Or when you're in your view properties, you can turn this option off. Okay, I have this rogue piece over here. I have no idea what that rogue piece is, but that's okay. I'm going to move it so that it's not part of my cut sheet. So I'm going to take this and place it inside of my board. I'm going to get it. I don't want to put it all the way to the edge because the boards are not perfectly straight. So if I try to use the edge as one of the edges of my parts, you might get some warpage. So you just want to have it right in the middle or not in the middle, but away from the edge. So this is not all the parts I need laser cut. There's other parts that I need laser cut. So I'm going to go ahead and look for my other parts to laser cut. And so I'm going to go here and make sure it's one to one again, one to one. I'm going to go to insert and I have a bunch of stuff that I need to put on here. So I'm going to start off with my inchworm. So here's an inchworm. I'm going to place this inchworm on the page and every layer that you have laid out to laser cut, you're going to have to um, place on here and only the view that shows it as a profile that I can, okay, I can laser cut. So I can delete this or, this one to one, or I need to go to my view properties and I need to turn off scale label so it won't label it. Okay, so now I need to place the other part of my automata. Now I would go through, if I were you, I would go through and place each part that you've created. Don't just place the same part multiple times if you have multiple of the same part. The reason why is because some parts are slightly different. And I'll show you right now. I go to insert and then my inchworm again. The second part of my inchworm is slightly different than the first. So if I place it in there, I'm going to escape. I'm going to go ahead and delete this just so I can. So notice that this inchworm, while it has the same body shape, it has this little tab at the bottom, which is important for when I construct my, uh, put everything together. Now these parts, you can move around together, or you can actually move individual parts. So let's click in this empty space over here. And then I can click on this inchworm and I can move it so that I get it as close as possible. So then I'm using all the space that I have. Okay. So let me go ahead and place another part and then wrap it up. So I'm going to insert. I'm going to make sure that it's one to one again. Insert. Um, this time, let's go ahead and I'm going to look at my uh, hair cam. Actually, let's look at the chameleon. So you have all these parts for the chameleon. I have to place each of these parts. So part one, I'm going to place, and part one is slightly different than part two that I need to place. Now, if all of your parts will not fit on the sheet, you need to go back and actually resize your parts so that they fit on the sheet. Remember that one of the constraints for the assignment was that it has to fit on a single sheet of 12 by 24 inch cardboard or wood okay so again let's delete this one to one delete i'm gonna click here i think i can rotate it right here no sheet you have an option up here where you can rotate it okay you can rotate these parts um there are options to rotate um, there's view property switch to chameleon you can move the sheet there's all kinds of things you can do here just play around with it and so now when I, when I get this done, I no longer need the board. Now don't put the board as part of what you're going to export. Just make sure you use the board as, or the wood sheet as your guide for placing your parts. So I made sure that everything fits within here. I have other parts that I need to place. Once I place all the parts, I'll make sure that it fits within this area. And then I'll go ahead and delete that wood board because I don't need that border. And I'm gonna export this file. So I'm gonna go to laser drawing. I'm going to export, and there's some options you can export this at. As I prefer D PDF, so go ahead and submit the PDF to me. 
But the other options that also work are DXF files for um, actually laser cutting. So I'm going to download this. I'm going to export as a PDF. And the export option should be download. We're not printing. So I'm going to export this and it should export. It's preparing and you should see a download option come here. Here's my download. If I open this PDF up, uh, mine has to open twice. So let's do this one more time. Downloads. And so let's go ahead and open this up this time. It should open. We have to refresh. There it is. So there's the PDF. Okay, notice the page is nice and large, uh, but everything fits within that 12 by 24 inch area. All right, if you have any questions, uh, ask me in class and I hope you enjoy.